pum pa ra ba pa ba ra pa da pa da ba da ba da ba da ba pum pa ra pum pum pa ra pum da 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 name that tune yes let me know in the comments below what that tune is if you know yeah and if it was cuz i wouldn't have a clue so today we're talking lesson. about what travel do you get for being blind yeah. well sort of yeah i can have to apply for it so we've got three cards with us mm -hmm. we're going to talk about all of them so here's the first question do you get free travel for being blind it depends on where you live you can get some sort of free travel depending let's talk about what these yeah. are right let's go yeah concessory passes yeah so we're going to talk mostly about england but we are going to cover wales and scotland and northern ireland because we're just cool like this yeah. right this first one right i feel like it's a, a casino like a travel at the casino right okay so this first one here is a standard oyster card it's not a freedom pass okay uh, and that means i pay for my tube but i have a discount loaded on one second from oh yes my disabled royal card which we're going to talk about in a minute um, however london freedom passes look very much like this one in my left hand which is an english concessionary Bus, bus pass. pass and it's got a c in the top right corner of mine which means i'm caring yeah <laughs> uh companion. yeah it means i can take a companion yeah. with me because we're going to talk about the differences when you're registered blind versus partially like sighted, sighted or other and different yeah issues so which cards do you have firstly so i have mm -hmm. a rail card disabled uh, person's rail card disabled person's rail card um, and third off i have a, a an english bus pass Okay, so we're going to mostly talk about English bus pass. We're going and to talk I think about. And oh, no, an Oyster card I have. Yes, but we're going to talk about the other systems in a minute. But let's firstly talk about the bus pass then. I'm trying to cover any sensitive information, hopefully. So, broadly in England, legislation was brought in about 2008, which lets you, um, if you've got if older people, i.e., over 65, yeah. outside of London, because London gets a bit interesting, we'll cover that in it a does. minute. Uh, and eligible disabled people can get free travel uh, by legislation anywhere in england after 9 30 in the morning and before 11 p.m at night yeah. some councils however including hertfordshire where we live are We've more generous than that yeah so i say you can use it 24 hours a day you can't because there aren't buses 24 hours a day but you can use it whenever buses are running because i recently just renewed this one here which um, is great in london i think i'm right in saying they still give eligible disabled people travel 24 hours a day so i'm going to put this one down over here right on the bench but the interesting thing about hertfordshire when we we're talking about hertfordshire um we are able on our bus pass to get half price train fares in and around hertfordshire sure, which i so think premature. is premature you're so premature we're talking about trains in a minute yes yes but right so the bus pass element first right let's talk about that we're going to talk about trains and other concessions okay okay but I'm um, so excited you're excited so mm. essentially with the machine readable pass it lets you ordinarily travel anywhere on your own in England after 9.30 or to 11 p.m. at night. Some places have more generous, uh, you know, concessions such as London. But normally, it, you know, any additional would only apply to residents in that place. So the companion, the C, uh, because I am registered blind as opposed to partially sighted or any other qualifying disability, they automatically add the companion bit on there which is hilarious because when i got on a bus in hertfordshire they now they say oh you you've not got a carer with you no they let us out on their own anyway so if you go anywhere in england so for example if you go to york or if you go to bristol Bath. bristol yep but not wales and not scotland because they've got their own system we're going to talk about in a minute then you can use it after 9 30 before 11 p.m at night or all days at weekends and on public holidays um we don't use buses loads in those but it's handy in london oh yeah definitely and as siobhan said because we're going to talk about additional things we're going to talk about registered re registrations blind as opposed to other things because i think it's a little bit weird mm. but this bus pass in hertfordshire and bedfordshire people can get half price train fares as long as the journey starts within hertfordshire right that's yes. about right yeah um and lots of my journeys wouldn't but it's pretty cool so you can go down to hitchin or well in garden city or wherever you want it might be something as low as a pound or something <laughs> but the reason that's important is awesome. the reason that's important is if i go on my disabled person's rail card then with that one what happens is you get a third off so the discount is more generous if you're within Hertfordshire. but my disabled person rail card works all over the united kingdom 
before we talk about Wales and Scotland, yeah, and Northern Ireland, and Northern Ireland um, you and I are going to talk about this weirdness that we get slightly better benefits in some council authorities than people who are registered as partially sighted. sighted or other disabilities. I actually think that's wrong, you know. I do as well. And when I say that, so the in Hertfordshire it's no different, okay? So, you know, thumbs up to Hertfordshire, can you give us a thumbs up? Thumbs up. Thumbs up to Hertfordshire. Uh, but like, I think it's West Yorkshire or something. Basically, they extend their travel at any time if you're registered blind but not partially sighted. We're blindies, we're registered blind, but we had as children partial sight. Yeah. No, so we wouldn't have... <laughs> if you've got partial sight as opposed to blind, you still can't drive. No, no exactly. So, so it's why still would you give someone who's blind, or registered blind, free travel on peak, but not someone who's partially sighted? What sense does that make? Yeah, I don't think it makes any sense. What because sense does that still, make? Should they? Still limit... They should. Comments in the... Yeah. Oh, well, below. Um... <laughs> And because we're going to ask you questions about whether there should even be bus passes shortly. Um, the other thing, as I say, with the disabled person's rail card is you can load that onto... One minute, I'm throwing my passes everywhere. Don't do that, they're valuable. Um, uh, you can load your disabled person's rail card onto an Oyster. Yeah. Open up, it'll look really nice graphic. Mouth open. Oh. <laughs> no, that's... Do you not accept Oyster? No. <laughs> um, Ew, and it no. gets you a third off single fares. If yes. you're still with us, you really have to be interested in this, so that's fine. It might be so. helpful, it might be beneficial if you're thinking about applying. Mm. So what's the deal in Wales? You explain to us, Siobhan. I have no idea. <laughs> that's why I thought I'd ask you. Right, we were looking it up. Man, is it weird. So oh, yeah. I think you get... Was it from October to March? No, we'll come with that. Okay. I think you can get bus passes... For certain if you're... bus routes? No, I think you get bus passes for the whole of Wales. Uh, right. But they don't work in, in, in the other nations. Uh but they also give you either free or half price train fares between certain stations, either all of the year for some that I think are half price, you get some that are half price or free, but from October through till March. What? Yeah, that, that's what? Like, it's really cool. Just don't do it I at all. I have no idea. Yeah, you only need to travel if you've got a disability between October and March. In Scotland, if you are blind, if you're registered blind, you can get a Scottish blind person's travel card. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, are, are they, they lucky. lucky. Are they lucky? They are so lucky. They get free travel, free train travel completely. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. Free ferry rail. travel. Yeah, uh, ferry, yeah. Yeah, that, that goes with the rail. This is the rail. No, I Bus pass. Ferry. Yeah. Um, and all over. And in fact, like, wow. Even Northlink ferries. So with my English pass, and you're definitely not entitled to it, but they wouldn't charge me. So have you got one in England? So I have a bit, doesn't entitle. So why right, can you see when you're in Scotland? I said, well, no. So get on the bloody ferry then. Anyway, so they didn't charge there either. So that is insane. In Northern like, Ireland, wow, it's not yeah. so generous, I don't think. Mm. I think it is free if you're blind. It's it's less free if you've got other disabilities. I'm not an expert on it. I think it's half price in some circumstances. It's as mad as a bag of old rag. But complicated. But but Google but, it. <laughs> but 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 but. Yeah. London. Okay. So, this is the thing that... Oh, I don't, do you know what? We're going to come to questions whether there should even be free bus passes or whether I should be entitled to one because maybe... Oh, sugar, maybe it should be for people who are not working. We're going to come on to that, right? We're going to be self-deprecating in a minute. But if I lived in a London borough and I was first registered... Actually, in fairness, I was registered as uh, partially sighted uh, as a child in the London borough of Harrow rather than blind, which was later. Um, but I would have a card that looked identical to the one I'm holding. But didn't it say handicapped? No, no, come on to that. Oh. Um, it would be that's that's their registration system we'll come on but anyway so that's true the card i ripped up because apparently it says handicapped on it but oh, instead of cool. half in the top right it would have london councils and they work on the tubes whereas this one doesn't lucky yeah. lucky lucky londoners and i'm a londoner it's not fair um so you get totally free tube dlr mm -hmm. buses 24 hours yeah. a day if you're disabled i think if you're an older person over 65, you get a Freedom Pass, and it works, I think, all the time on tubes and stuff, but after off-peak for trains. I'm mm. boring myself, but some people are interested. Um, if you are 60, but under 65, London gives people a Freedom Pass. There's some kind of waspy thing by me. Um, but uh, what are you doing? You're ruining up no, the shop. I'm scared. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, it's I'm, gone I'm anyway. It's flying around me. Um, okay. And so, basically, so my mother, for mm -hmm. example, who's between 60 and 65, 
See, some people say she's young considering, but then I am only 26, so. <laughs> I'd actually, people didn't know I was in my 20s. That'd be interesting to see what they think. But anyway, so that lets you go on tubes and buses in London, but it wouldn't have the bus concession bit, which is the English Rose. So yeah. you could use it in London, but nowhere else. Yeah. Anyway, listen, I'll tell you what, this is kind of rambling on a bit. So let's get to some key questions I want to ask. Should you be entitled to free travel by virtue of being blind? I'm not complaining. I've got me bus pass. Should are you, you? Are you asking? Yeah, and comments at the like. Yeah, comments. Um, so I wonder whether they should say, for example, mm. well, not necessarily, but you know what? Yeah, yeah, because you have a bus pass, mate. Give us fifty quid for the year or something. To be fair, I probably don't use fifty quid in buses in a year. That's the truth of the matter. Um, should it just be means? To, I don't know the answer to this, by the way. I'm asking. Wow. Um, but Nigel Mansell, good to see you, yeah. Nigel. Oh, we're in Stevenage. Is it Lewis Hamilton? Um, yeah. Who would have thought? A kid from Stevenage, you could drive fast, as a stand-up comic once said. Yeah, uh, but um, I, should we get it for free by virtue of being blind? I, I think I, I think yes, we should. Why? Um, because it enables us to be. Um, well, for me personally, um, independent. Yeah, but I... you and I could do this anyway. This is my point, right? We both got quite well-paying jobs. Yes, I'm not. Well, I, I wouldn't mind paying. I wouldn't if there was a set fee each year. I, I wouldn't object to that. Yeah, but so I'm only I asking. Object... But a minute ago oh. you said it should be free. Well, I, I, I think in well, I suppose yes. I think it should should be free because you know we're not able to drive. But isn't that our problem? In well... the comments below. I, I, I still think it... Shouldn't we just, like, uh, as some people on their rhetoric around disability, yeah. shouldn't we just stop being lazy and learn to see? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I yeah. wouldn't object to paying, but I... I, well, I mean, we can pay. You don't have to get the pass. No. Um, some people might not. But it does give choose. you free Nando's chicken. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to see if that wound up. I want Nando's chicken with my bus pass. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, 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 think, I think it's, it's a nice perk. A nice perk of being blind. It is a nice perk. I mean, they're perk. not seeing it's... things pretty crap. Yeah. Um, I think it, I think it's helpful. And actually, saying that, in terms of being free, if you um, are, you know, um, not in employment, then I think it's really helpful to be able to, to be able to socialise and get about and maybe study yeah. and go to college. Um, and but we wouldn't I think assume it's like, because somebody's disabled no, they are. They're, they're not. Um, well, I was going to say lonely that, and unemployed. no. I'm not that, well, seventy-three percent. We, we are disabled. Seventy-three percent of people, people who are working You're talking about people blind and age. visually impaired, aren't you? Yes, I am. Not talking, talking about, about disability generally. No, I'm not talking. I was just going to say that of, of working age, who are registered um, yeah, blind or partially sighted are um, so it's seventy-three percent unemployed. So I think there should be concessions. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, concessions are there. Yeah. So look, I'm very grateful for it. So don't cancel my yeah. pass, pass, please. But yeah. um, it is one of those things. I'm, it's, I don't really claim as much as I could for things, to be mm. honest. Um, so. Yeah, and that, that's a personal choice. And I think people, if you're entitled to it, definitely get it. If it's going to aid your your life and your independence, yeah. yeah. Go for it, definitely. And then, and then, so here's a question. So, I, again, likewise, on that same basis, I can't really complain that I don't get free tubes. But doesn't mm. it seem harsh? The reason, by the way, you don't get free tubes in London with one of these, but you do with the London one, is they say that it's funded by London Council taxpayers. Uh, but it's... Um, I, I can it's see It's a shame, because I that's... work in London. I pay mm. tax in London. I pretty much nearly always worked in central London. I am from London. Well, then move I to London then. Further out. Well, yeah, but that's the point. You'd have to, wouldn't you? Yeah. So I, I guess you could argue fair. that. Mm. If it's paid by, you know, London taxpayers... Yeah, but I pay my tax in London. Yeah, I buy London... coffees in London. I buy... Not newspapers. That would be pointless. But, you know, I buy things in London. I contribute to the economy. Damn it. Yeah, but then where <laughs> you live, you're contributing, aren't you? So, so therefore, so can we please have tubes if the mayor of London's watching? Yes. Oh, not yes. going to happen, is it? Well, you never know. No, it's Sadiq. Any chance of free tubes? Yeah, thanks. For us London commuters. Yeah, please. Like, if we just give you a letter from our employer, um, which would preclude you, by the way, because you would not mostly be in London. Well, under this new scheme actually, I've just created. Well, yes, but I do, uh, I do go into London. So Let's stop arguing yeah, about anyway. a scheme that doesn't exist. But anyway, no, so do you get free travel being blood? Yes, yeah, sort of. Um, probably should be simpler to do in some ways but it's not the end of the world is it no it can be it can be 
pretty annoying if they're asking for a piece of paper. When that some people are asking registered. for actual copies of a certificate a vision of impairment. visual impairment. Mine so was years and years and years ago. Mine was my one for blindy was ninety seven. Yeah, see, mine was like years ago, and I don't have that bit of paper. I still and I refused. I didn't realise honestly when I applied for my first guide dog. Um, because I said no, I wasn't, and they got my doctor's thing, and I was. So there we are. Any interesting? Um, so, uh, but yeah, they want that bit of paper in some council areas. In fact, they're mm. seriously supposed to. But like, use some common sense. If you have a medical record, yes, not about a GP's summary, note saying yeah. my mate is blind, but if you have a if you have a medical record or summary care record that shows That's, it yeah. with its medical coding, you don't need the piece of physical paper, you idiot. Anyway, by the way, mm. um, so yeah, um, lots of people do have their certificates. They do. You don't have yours, do you? I don't, no. I have, I'm blind, I, I lost it. Yeah, I, I've got um, a little card, though, that from um, social services many, many years ago, say, stating that I'm like, blind. Oh, God, she says blind. That she thinks she's special. Everybody just... I'm special in every way. Can you do, I'm blind, I'm blind. No. Has anybody guessed what the tune is? Boom, ba-dum, boom, ba ba da and if you're still watching timestamp this exact bit. Olive! Yes, Dan! You made it. Olive sound really old. That sounds like some kind of aircraft. I'm going to point up. Hello, aircraft. Probably down to the local shops. What do you reckon? I don't know. I'd love to go. I'd love to go somewhere. Romania. Abroad. But at the moment, it's a little bit too risky. A ski little trample probably? Yes, we could go. Well, you know, there was a train, but whether or not we're allowed to go, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Unless we want to join the French Foreign Legion. Ooh. We should do a video about that. Yeah. Right, okay, listen, bus passes, and we hope we answer questions. Pop them below, and we will catch you. Or any other pass. Have you got... Any other pass? What? No, I haven't got any other pass. I've got a work pass, if I remember taking it. No, 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 no. I'm talking about any other travel passes that people may have or may not what's the have deal? if you're watching in america for example what's the deal there yeah i'd be interested actually um, you, i mean for example if you're blind can you get on the metro without paying or will you get tased <laughs> shot and you know an awful <laughs> lot of blind people not an awful lot there's two quite well known cases in the uk of blind people with oh, yes. white sticks being tased yes and i can sort of understand it to a degree but then also not at the same time well so especially in modern in day one case like, one case somebody know. thought it was a samurai, samurai sword. sword yeah like Highland, Wait, from the can... Highlander show. Um, and in another case... Was it in London, wasn't it? No, it wasn't in London. No, it's up north. I, th I, I, I think I know which force, but I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get that one wrong. Um, and then there was another case as well. Mm. And in one particular case, somebody started came up in this bloke's face because didn't even know they were police officers. Drop the, drop the sword. He's what? I didn't even know what's happening. He got zapped. Oh, and by the way, it's no. not taking anything away from police officers who generally work obviously very, very hard and all the rest of it. So I wasn't there. But yeah, um, so oh, God. suffice to say, it was shocking for the man. Oh, yeah. I nearly got tased before. Not like that. I you asked I, for it. No, I nearly, I used to do a job, right, where I had the opportunity that I could have been tased. I, I wouldn't have wanted to, to do that. That goes beyond anything. You wanted me I, to get tased? Yeah, I wanted you to get tased. But for me, <laughs> I want to get, I want to get bitten by a police dog. Well, I don't know why, but... You know, I just um, want to see what it's like. Don't rob a flat then, but... Um, no, no, no. So the choice I had... love to do that, anyway. It didn't happen. The choice I had... I also gave up some really cool offer, I'll tell you in a minute for sure. Um, basically, the choice I've had, they can either put them... Touch the taser against you and set it off, or they can actually fire the prong. And the one I was going to have a go at was the X26 taser. Oh. Then I got an X2. Same sort of thing, anyway. Two prongs. They come out, it shoots out glitter with the serial number. Oh. The cartridge, they shoot it. Taser, taser, taser. Oh. And literally, it would, your muscles would retract or contract, I oh. forget. But I got invited three years in a run to go shooting. I was also had to go out for a night with the Royal Gibraltar Defence Police in Gibraltar. All expenses paid, this was some years ago. And to go shooting handguns with them. And, and I, honestly, I really wanted to do it, but it was around the early part of December. Uh, what are you doing to my... Wind up. You're winding me up. No, um, yeah. Yeah, but it was it was your birthday. And each year it was, oh, it's your birthday. I, I thought, oh. Hmm. No, you don't need me doing anything for my birthday. So I, don't I do. What... Um, so I gave up the opportunity to have my mobile phone nicked by Gibraltar Monkeys in the Mountains. Huh? They're so cute, the mon monkeys, aren't they? Um, oh, they're quite, yeah. And to go I love Gibraltar. on patrol then. with the Royal Gibraltar Defence Police folk and to shoot guns. And like there might have been a casino that friends went to and won a lot of money in, but I didn't. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, anyway. Right, I don't know what the bus pass situation is there, but we've rambled on enough. Yes. Uh, but people need to subscribe. Bye. Subscribe.